So hey guys, it's Stefan, and as you can see, I, I'm in my own room right now, cause uh, yesterday I came back, well today at midnight, <laughs> cause we came home for like um, twelve thirty a.m. in the midnight, and um, right after we got back home, we went to sleep, cause we were so damn tired and all that, and I had to wake up in the morning to uh, finish. Um, like not finished, but to do a uh, like a, a school lesson for the for the grades that I'm collecting for my school, and I had to read, read this book, which um, tells of a kid who works as a um, not works, but um, make like his first a test to work or whatever it's called. In Sweden, it's called praktisera, and um, or it's like practice job or whatever it's called in America, and then. Um, Yes, the character is fat, and um, he wor works as a worker or a security guard or something, I don't know. But then he discovers a, a chocolate bean on the floor, and he decides to uh, eat it up. He didn't chew it or anything, he just swallowed it. And I know it sounds wrong, but that's what he did. But then, strangely enough, um, he, became, he became a bit smaller and smaller. And uh, every time he eats something, um, it doesn't go to his mouth or something, to his stomach or something. It just um, lose weight for some reason. And then uh, further in more to the story, some girl, yeah, it's a girl. Her name is um, Lindy, the main fat character that I was talking about. His name is Tom, and uh, he was working as a, a security guard when uh, something happened there. In the laboratory, and uh, before he captured her for like a couple hours uh, earlier, he he asked his dad if um, if he wanted to do a night shift with his dad, and um, he says, "Of course, why not?" So he did so, and then that is where he captured the thief, who turned out to be a girl, just like I said. Now she said it was like some um, alien spaceship in there. You know, the laboratory is like Air 51 or whatever, and um, both of them went inside because um, Tom was also curious to f to uh, find, find about um, what is inside the laboratory. And so they did, and they found a giant alien aircraft, okay? It's not a saucer, it's just a, uh, a spacecraft, an aircraft. And they were just trying to find a passenger which is uh, like um, this tiny and it turns out that Tom swallowed that alien and uh, now it's inside him and it controls him on certain times and uh, he used the wall to communicate to uh, the humans well uh, you know and then at the end they took him out and um, they kept the alien alive so that they want to know more about it and wh why it came here and why it wants to eat and why it um, want to be inside humans. Well, that's because um, its people need more food, so um, yeah, that's the reason why. But that's not the reason for this video, and um, well, I told you guys what I did. So, um, no, for seriously though, I have a collection of, um, I'm chewing bubblegum by the way, I have a collection of four, game, four games that I want to play. Um, and um, that game is um. Hold on, let me just bring the bring it out. God damn it! There we go. It is Bionicle Heroes. Now Bionicle, my channel, um, it was surprisingly good. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know it was supposed to be that expected to be that good. Cause um, in my Bionicle stream, it got like a hundred views. When I played the Lego Bionicle Metro New CD promotions, there's only like six of them, which I played. It took like an hour to get through all of them. Because they're like short, but some puzzles are, are a bit difficult to solve, which I perfectly did. And uh, it was surprisingly good as well. And I thought, why not bring uh, another Bionicle game, but this time for the console. And that's what I'm going to do. And it's gonna start this month. Um, it's uh, focusing on um, the Toa Inika who's trying to stop Paraka from uh, making hat from making havoc in Voyanui. It's an it's another island. Wow. 
And then that's where they start producing the console games for Bionicle for no reason. Uh, and also I have um, the Doctors 2 right here. Now last year, on January, I made my first ever playthrough. I think that was the yeah, first ever console playthrough. The main game of the darkness and you guys liked it. And uh, I'm gonna put the playlist in the description below so you guys can see it. I actually want to bring the darkness back to my channel, which I'm gonna do um, possibly this month too with the darkness too. This is like the second and uh, the latest game of the, the darkness series. And um, it says here on the back, it says, It's been two years since Jackie Astakata used the power of the darkness, and now it wants back out. A sudden attack by a mysterious and powerful new enemy opens the door for the, the darkness to reemerge and sets Jackie on a journey to hell and worse. Now there's two endings of this game which I can possibly obtain too. Um, now I have the uh, limited edition which includes a lot of content. It includes the Gourmet Hearts and Relic Hunter character abilities. Now Gourmet Hearts, I... It's like um. A limited edition exclusive ability for the for the tree of life upgrades, or you know what I'm talking about with tree of life upgrades. And the relic hunter. Now there is each relic on each mission, so one one relic, one mission. You know what I'm talking about. It collects relics and all that stuff. And there is this crazy Abdul Darkling outfit, which I made a, another straw poll voting. Um, page which you can see, which is right there on the computer which I'm gonna put the link in the description and it says what darkness skin should I use in the darkness 2 these are the two choices normal or the crazy Abdul skin now I don't know if you can um, find the uh, crazy Abdul skin because the normal darkness skin is um, I think it's this one right yeah I think it's one right there now uh, darkness not the dark web, you stupid. Uh, crazy Abdul. Um, mm. you see right there in the middle, right there. That's the crazy Abdul outfit. Mm, I don't know. So the voting uh, poll is in the description below for you guys to choose. And speaking of the voting poll, I made my first ever voting poll, which I made it last. Uh, my last day's video, and it was, uh, what should I play as in, um, or I mean, who should I play as in, um, Kill Instinct Gold, which I'm gonna put in the link in the description. There's been four votes so far, and you guys can uh, vote yourselves if either you're a Kill Instinct fan or not. So I'm gonna put it in the link in the description as well. Now, some of you guys remember, um, this game right here. Can you see it? I'm gonna give you another hint. This one. Yeah. I'm actually gonna bring uh, Beyond Good and Evil to my channel for the first time. Now, I don't know if I should play Outland or From Dust, but I played a little bit of Outland. It is pretty good. From Dust, however, I haven't even tried it out yet. And I haven't even watched the gameplay of it. So, I don't know. But I'm definitely gonna bring Beyond Good and Evil to my channel for the hype for Beyond Good and Evil 2. Which some people want to know when it's going to come out. And um, speaking of the hype. Um, <laughs> or when it's going to come out. Um, I'm actually going to bring Halo back to my channel. After it's... Um, hold on, hold on. I think the last game I, I brought to my channel was uh, Halo Reach. Which was in June. I'm actually going to bring uh, back Halo Combat Evolved to my channel. Now, I played it last year, and now I'm going to play it again, sort of, in Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, which has updated graphics, obvious, and um, it's similar to Halo Combat Evolved, the original one from 2001. Now, this anniversary is to celebrate the, the 10 years of the Halo series and the first Halo gate to come out, and I think this came out in, two, in um, November something, I don't know, but I... I th but I know it's definitely definitely in November, so um, yeah, might actually bring back um, this month or next month, probably this month. I don't know, but um, let's just see. 
But anyways, the things I mentioned are gonna be in the description. And uh, but also follow me on Twitter as well. I'm gonna announce the winner for the winning polls for the Killer Instinct Gold and for the Doctors 2. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. And um, yeah, more plushies to come soon. And also, I have something there. It's a um, action figure right there, which I'm gonna bring to my channel in about a week. So stay tuned for that. And if you want to stay tuned for some other videos, then please subscribe so you don't want to miss any of my videos. And um, please give this video, video a like, which I uh, appreciate it. And uh, yeah, as always, stay safe, stay strong, and um, yeah, it's good to be back here. And as always, peace!